broadcasting from Studio 300, you're watching Holly Playbook. Hello, I'm Ashley DeVren, and welcome to this week's edition of Poly Playbook, where we recap and preview Cal Poly athletics. This week, we have Nick DeZunbar on the desk for the Cal Poly football team to preview the rivalry game against UC Davis. But first, men's basketball is starting their season against Nevada tomorrow. The Cal Poly men's basketball team is set to begin their season after making it to March Madness last year. The Mustangs won the Big West title in the fall, ten, in the final 10 seconds last season, advancing to the first four of the NCAA tournament. But going into this season, losing seniors David Nwaba and Chris Eversley from last year's starting five, head coach Joe Claro is looking ahead. That's over, that's done. So this year is about building our own tournament that, that certain other teams might be excited to play because you made the tournament, but we have so much work to do. We just got to get back to that, what, what I call tournament toughness. Don't worry about uh, going to the tournament. Worry about making the right plays that get you uh, to the tournament. Following a 60-58 to loss early last season, Cal Poly will face the Nevada Wolfpack this Saturday at Nevada before opening up at home against San Francisco State next Tuesday. Log on to mustangnews.net for complete basketball coverage for the upcoming season. Now shifting to football, Cal Poly is set to play Davis on Saturday at 6 p.m. for their last conference game of the season and the battle for the Golden Horseshoe. In the 40th edition of the rivalry, the Mustangs, who are now 5-2 in the Big Sky Conference, are taking on rival UC Davis, who are 0-6 so far in conference play. Cal Poly will look to match last year's result at UC Davis when they beat the Aggies 34-16. The UC Davis would be 6-2 in the Big Sky. That's a pretty good resume for this year. And it's the best we could possibly be right now. And if we don't achieve that, then shame on us. One, two, three. Wow. The Mustangs sit a full game behind Eastern Washington for first place in Big Sky. So one Saturday still gives them a chance for at the conference title. Cal Poly football hosts rival UC Davis in the battle for the Golden Horseshoe on Saturday. And reporter Julian Delgadio takes a look at the history. It happens but once a year. It doesn't matter what their record is or what our record is during season. When that game comes along, they always play hard. Since 1939, the Cal Poly Mustangs and UC Davis Aggies have met on the football field. But in 2004, something changed. Oh yeah, no, it's sitting there on the sidelines. Uh, it'll be on our sideline. The Golden Horseshoe, an inaugural trophy created back in 2004 and given to the winner of this fall classic. If you're getting recruited by Cal Poly, you know that UC Davis is your rivalry and you, you know, you you, uh, you come to school knowing that you know we got to beat UC Davis pretty much so it's exciting it's fun and um, makes it a lot better. Since 2004 UC Davis leads the series 5-4 to four, but the horseshoe has been calling San Luis Obispo home this past year. They're the only game where we had a trophy involved and there's a rivalry and there's implications like that. Davis leads the all-time series at 19-17-2 and, and both teams have split the last four contests at two apiece. The rivalry games are a totally different caliber. It doesn't matter what the record is, it's always going to be a good game. Given that it is 2-2 two two in the last four years, so this is kind of the, the, the tiebreaker if you, if you want to put it that way. This wasn't the only Golden Horseshoe though. Due to a misunderstanding, both schools constructed a trophy for the rivalry and brought it to its inaugural game. The winner, which ended up being UC Davis, decided which trophy to adopt as the official one. Yeah, it'll be on our sideline the entire game, and um, whoever wins pretty much grabs that thing and runs out in the middle of the middle of the uh, in the field and rubs it in the other team's face. Julian Delgadio, Mustang News. We have senior linebacker Nick Dzubnar here at the desk. Hi, Nick. How are you today? I'm good. Um, so, Battle of the Golden Horseshoe is already tomorrow. How are you feeling going into the game? I'm feeling pretty excited. Um, rivalry games are always a big thing, especially against UC Davis. So, I think it's a pretty known thing that um, you know UC Davis is our rivalry. I'm sure, just like uh, you know our soccer team's rivalry is Santa Barbara. So, it's exciting, it's a lot of fun, and we're looking forward to it. Okay, and so you guys currently hold the Golden Horseshoe now, um, since you guys won it last year. What does it mean if you guys win it again tomorrow? Yeah, we've uh, we've had it for two years in a row now. They had it the two years before that. Um, it's it's pretty important, especially you know uh, being a senior in your senior season. You really want to get it. You know, if you're a younger guy, it's important to play hard just for um, you know to have it in general. But 
for the seniors, it's a really big deal, and especially to finish off your senior season, especially towards the end, to have the Golden Horseshoe and beating UC Davis, it's it's pretty exciting and it's a good memory to have. Yeah, and so you guys are at five and two in Big West, and they're at zero and six. Do you take that into consideration for um, tomorrow? Or yes and no. Um, because in past years, you know, whatever the schedule is or whatever the uh, the rankings have been for both of us, um, it's always a big game. It doesn't matter what the record is, whether we're doing bad or they're doing bad, because, you know, it's a rivalry game, so anything can happen in a rivalry game, and people always find extra motivation if they're having a bad season in a rivalry game. So I'm sure they're going to pull out all the stops, and they're going to try to ruin our season for us, and we can't let that happen. Okay, and so how have you guys been preparing this week for the game? Um, nothing different. Um, they have some good schemes on offense and defensively. I think they're, you know, they're just athletic and hard-working hard group of guys. Um, I think if we play the way we're capable of playing, we'll be fine. We haven't done anything special to prepare for them other than just what we normally do, plug away and stop the run. Okay, and so you personally, what are you going to do to try and get that win? I know you're currently leading the nation in tackles per game at 14.1. Do you have a specific goal of tackles for this game? or? No, you know, I don't think you can. Uh, it's kind of hard to look into a game like that because there's so many different schemes that they can run. But, um, you know, middle linebacker, you got to be in the middle of everything. So I plan on doing that tomorrow. I plan on putting our defense in the best situation we can be in with the calls that we're given. And, Hopefully the ball comes my way a lot more than uh, anywhere else, I guess. Yeah, definitely. And um, so you're saying that you're a senior, you're a graduating senior, right? Yes. So this is the last season as a Mustang. Mm -hmm. And um, what's your what's your goal for the remainder of the season? To make playoffs? Yeah, that's definitely the goal right now. Um, winning the Big Sky Championship is probably um, a little bit of a long shot, um, but playoffs is definitely a possibility. So right now we have to win these next two games and hope for the best in the playoffs and what the polls say and, and rank us. So that's definitely our goal right now, but we got to start off with beating Davis first week. Have you guys thought about playing San Diego the next week yet, or has just all the focus been for this game? Yeah, all the focus has pretty much been on Davis. We like to take things one day at a time, one week at a time, one game at a time. So I think that's the best. And, um, you know, we can't afford to overlook anyone, so we're not going to overlook Davis especially. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so since you've, this is your fourth year, technically fifth year, because mm -hmm. you redshirted, right? Yeah. Um, you've seen the Mustang Way start at Cal Poly and develop. How have you seen that grow through Cal Poly athletics and maybe through Cal Poly as a community? Oh, I think it's huge, especially in a town like San Luis Obispo. You know, everyone knows everyone, everyone supports everyone. Um, so it's definitely, uh, definitely huge, especially when you come in here. There's no, I'm a senior, you're a freshman type of thing. It's, you know, once you're part of the family, you're part of the family. And I think it's the same way in the community. So I think it um, makes the whole town a better place, makes the team a better place, makes the school a better place, and it's a lot of fun, especially when you play at home in front of your fans. Okay. And so is there anything you want to say to like Cal Poly students to come out to the game tomorrow? I uh, hope you guys come out. It's going to be a fun game, and I hope you uh, get to see us beat up UC Davis. So beginning of the season, a little bit of a rough start. Um, tell me a little bit about that and then leading into that winning streak that you guys got. Yeah, we went through uh, some difficult times, especially in the summer when we lost a few of our teammates. Some of them, uh, you know, some of them were starters, one of them was a captain. Um, so that was a pretty rough time. Um, we were able to rally together, though, made us closer, you know, as a family and as a team. We started the season off a little rough because I think we had a lot of young guys, a lot of new players at new positions, and um, just needed to get some experience. So after those three or four games of Watching film, learning uh, the mistakes we made and correcting them, I think we really started to pick it up and really believe that we were a, a team that could, you know, really succeed in this um, in this season. And, uh, we started to do that. And unfortunately, we uh, came out a little soft against Idaho State, but we're looking back to uh, jump up on the horse real quick and show Cal Poly and everyone else that we're, a, you know, real big contender in the FCS. Yeah. And so, um, moving on, what are you? What are your plans after this season and once you graduate Cal Poly? Uh, I. I'm really hoping to continue to play football. Um, I've talked to my strength and conditioning coach a bunch um, about training with him after season and stuff like that. So hopefully I'll have the opportunity to continue to play football. And if not, you know, um, my major is construction management, and I do love construction management. So if football doesn't work out, I'll happily uh, be a project manager, project engineer somewhere. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by. Thanks. Thank you for watching this episode of Poly Playbook. See you next time, Mustangs.